Okay, so for the first head exchanger, which is the evaporator, double click on this and we got this uh, window again. So uh, the top side would be the geothermal, so geothermal in, and the outlet would be geothermal mid. Okay, and the for the shell side, the isopentane mid would be at the inlet, and the outlet would be isopentane out. Okay, cool. Now uh, we have to define um, the any stream that we already know the condition of it. So, for example, the geothermal in. So, for the geothermal in, it is a hot brine, so there will be zero vapor affection, and the temperature is 180.7. This all a given number, but you can uh okay and uh, for the mass flow is 48 uh, kilogram per second it's just an example uh, it depends on the um it depends on the hot brine condition of of the geothermal power plant okay and then uh, composition uh for the geothermal brine i will assume that it is 100 percent h2o or water but in the real um in the real condition, it could be consist of uh, some silica or some uh, sulfur. It depends on the uh, geothermal uh, brine composition. But just for simplified our model, I'll just make it 100% water. Okay. And after that, um, I know uh, the isopentane initial condition which i want to obtain from this system so in this case if we look at this um, schematic again here uh, we can see that um, the working fluid is being cooled down here so that uh, it will change to 100 percent liquid phase okay so it will be zero vapor fraction and the temperature would be um, around the temperature of ambient uh, environment. Uh, if the ambient temperature is around 25 degrees Celsius, uh, we add a pinch point, uh, let's say around 5 to 10 degrees Celsius above that. In this case, I will take uh, 10 degrees Celsius uh, higher than the ambient temperature, which is 35. Okay. And as you can see here, the working fluid will enter the preheater in high pressure condition because it is pumped here. Okay, so um, I take um, 1917 kPa as the pressure leaving the pump, which is the pressure where the isopentane will, uh, will enter the preheater. Um, this pressure is the saturated pressure of isopentane at 425 Kelvin. Okay. And also, um, we have to choose uh, a temperature which is uh, below the critical point to make sure that um, the system can work properly, okay? So for the mass flow, I'll set 10 kilogram per second, but we can ch change it later if we want to in increase our output. Okay, so yeah, that's all. We can close it. Oh, ah, sorry, I forgot. And then the composition, it would be 100% isopentane. Okay. Okay. Now, um, back to this heat exchanger and click on the worksheet tab. Okay. And then um, you have to define the other stream condition as well. So we start up. Okay, I'm gonna open the preheater first. So we start by um, 
fill in the pressure. So in this case, I assume that there is no pressure lost in the heat exchanger. So all the pressure, whether in this tube side or in the shell side, would be the same in all stream. Okay. So for the geothermal, it would be 1008, and for the subpantone would be 1917. Okay. And after that, I come back here. Okay, and it would be okay. So one um, condition that we have is that uh, the isopentane back to this one again. Wait. So the isopentane um, in this preheater will change from uh, 35 degrees Celsius to a higher temperature. Okay. So it's still on the zero vapor condition. So it's only increasing the temperature. Okay, we we'll have it like this and we come back to this one. Okay, so uh, the isopentane here 